what's next? Like now that you can do that and you can catch rockets, what's like the ultimate expression of rocket technology? Like what, what comes after this? I mean, the fundamental breakthrough we're aiming for at SpaceX is a fully and rapidly reusable orbital rocket where both stages are fully and rapidly reusable. With our Falcon rocket, we are able to reuse the main stage and the, the nose cone, but we're, we're not able to reuse the upper stage. Um, and it, it still takes us a, you know, at least a few days from when the main stage lands to when we can fly it again. So it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it's, it doesn't, it's not fully reusable because we lose the upper stage. Uh, which cost ten million dollars to build, and um, and then and then the the main stage, it's it's not as reusable as like an aircraft. You can't just like re- refuel it and fly. It requires um, work for a couple of days. Um, but the the Starship design is the first design that is capable of full and rapid reusability. And once you have full and rapid reusability, the cost of access to space drops by a factor of a hundred. It's like a hundred times cheaper. Um, by some metrics, it's a thousand times cheaper. And then when when you factor in uh, orbital ref, ref, refilling, so you refill on orbit, uh, it it can drop the cost of going cost per ton to the surface of Mars by a factor of ten thousand. Whoa! Yeah. So what has to improve in order to make it reusable? There's some like we're pretty close to being able to re- rapidly reuse the booster for. Starship. Um, that's why you know it, it, it comes back and gets caught by the arms, and then the arms place it back in the launch mount. We have a little bit of engine damage. We got a little bit of heat shield damage. I mean, I, I think we'll achieve reusability of the ship this year, um, and I think we'll achieve rapid reusability of the whole stack, ship and booster, next year. This is the fundamental breakthrough required for life to become multiplanetary. And what is what needs to improve in order to make it reusable? Like, what is what's wrong with it right now? Uh, on the ship side, the the toughest problem is the heat shield. So no no one has actually no one has ever developed a fully reusable orbital heat shield. Have a heat shield that doesn't partially melt or get destroyed in that process. Um, it requires detailed iteration on the heat shield tiles. The um, you, you need to make essentially this this very fine vermicelli of of glass and aluminum oxide uh, fibers. Um, aluminum oxide is basically sapphire, so it's like gla- glass and sapphire, very fine fibers in exactly the right geometry, special coatings, um, in order to have the this heat shield tile be reusable. Um, like not melt, um, and but not be so brittle that it gets damaged um, on ascent or descent.